Social Security Shakeup $5,400 monthly boost Coming debit cards are ready for all recipients. Today, we're diving into some major changes that could put an extra $5,400 in your pocket every single month. Yeah, you heard that right, $5,400? So get comfortable, because we've got a lot to cover on this social security shakeup that's got everyone talking. Let's cut to the chase. The Social Security Administration has just announced a game-changing boost to monthly benefits, and it's got people from coast to coast buzzing with excitement. We're talking about a potential increase of up to $5,400 per month for eligible recipients. Now, I know what you're thinking, is this for real? Well, folks, I'm here to break it all down for you. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and four stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's talk about why this is happening. The government has recognized the growing financial strain on seniors and disabled Americans, especially with inflation hitting hard these past couple of years. They've decided it's time for a major overhaul of the social security system to ensure it keeps pace with the actual cost of living. We've all seen how prices have been skyrocketing from groceries to healthcare. It seems like everything is getting more expensive by the day. This boost is designed to address that head-on and provide real relief to millions of Americans who rely on Social Security. Now, I know $5,400 sounds like a massive jump, and you're right to be skeptical. But here's the deal, this isn't a one-size-fits-all increase. The boost is designed to be proportional to your current benefits and takes into account factors like your work history, age, and specific circumstances. So while some might see the full $5,400 increase, others might receive a smaller but still significant bump. Let's break down how this could play out for different groups. If you're already collecting Social Security retirement benefits, you could see your monthly check grow by thousands. Imagine going from a $1,500 monthly benefit to potentially $6,900 or more. That's life-changing money, folks. Think about what that could mean for your daily life. No more worrying about whether you can afford your medications or if you'll have enough left over for a nice meal out with friends. It's about giving our seniors the dignity and comfort they deserve after a lifetime of hard work. For those receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, this boost could mean the difference between struggling to make ends meet and having a comfortable cushion each month. We all know how challenging it can be to live with a disability, and financial stress only compounds those difficulties. This increase could provide the breathing room needed to focus on health and well-being without constant money worries. Widows, widowers, and dependent children receiving survivor benefits could also see a substantial increase, providing much-needed financial support during difficult times. Losing a loved one is hard enough without having to stress about how you'll pay the bills. This boost aims to provide a safety net that truly supports families when they need it most. Now, let's talk about how they're planning to distribute this cash. The Social Security Administration is rolling out a brand new debit card system to make sure everyone gets their benefits quickly and securely. These aren't your average debit cards, though. They're packed with features to protect seniors from fraud and make managing benefits easier than ever. Here's what you need to know about these new debit cards. They're being prepared for all recipients, so you don't have to do anything special to get one. They'll be accepted anywhere that takes regular debit cards, which means you'll have the flexibility to use your benefits wherever you need to. They come with enhanced security features to prevent unauthorized use. We're talking chip technology, fraud monitoring, and instant alerts if any suspicious activity is detected you'll be able to check your balance and transaction history online or through a dedicated app, making it easier than ever to keep track of your finances. And here's a big plus, there are no fees for using the card at approved locations. That means more of your money stays in your pocket where it belongs. Another big question is how this will affect other benefits, like Medicare. The details are still being ironed out, but the goal is to ensure that this boost doesn't negatively impact other benefits you might be receiving. We'll know more as the rollout gets closer, 
but rest assured that policymakers are aware of the importance of coordinating across different benefit programs. Many of you are also wondering if this is a one-time thing or if the $5,400 boost will be permanent. From what we know so far, this is intended to be a permanent increase to bring Social Security benefits in line with current economic realities. However, the exact amount may be adjusted annually based on cost of living changes. The idea is to create a more responsive system that can adapt to economic shifts and ensure that beneficiaries don't fall behind as prices rise. For those of you who aren't yet receiving Social Security benefits, you're probably wondering how this will affect you when you do start collecting. The new system is expected to apply to future beneficiaries as well, but the exact calculations might differ depending on when you start collecting. It's a good idea to consult with a financial advisor to understand how this might impact your retirement planning. This could be a game changer for how people approach their retirement savings and when they decide to start claiming benefits. Now, let's talk about what this could mean for the economy as a whole. Pumping billions of extra dollars into the hands of consumers, particularly older Americans, could have some significant ripple effects. On the positive side, it could stimulate spending and boost local economies, particularly in areas with large retiree populations. We might see increased demand for goods and services, which could lead to job creation and economic growth. On the flip side, there are concerns about how this might affect the labor market. With more generous benefits, some worry that it might discourage people from working longer or returning to work after retirement. However, supporters of the boost argue that it will actually give people more flexibility in their later years, allowing them to take on part-time or volunteer work without worrying about losing benefits. There's also the question of how this might impact younger generations. Some worry that increasing benefits now could put a strain on the system in the future, potentially leaving less for today's workers when they retire. It's a valid concern, and it's one of the reasons why the funding and sustainability aspects of this plan are so crucial. The goal is to create a system that works for Americans of all ages, both now and in the future. As we wrap up, I want to emphasize how important it is to stay informed as this situation develops. This is a complex issue with a lot of moving parts, and things could change as the plan moves through the legislative process and into implementation. Keep an eye on official communications from the Social Security Administration. They'll be your best source for accurate, up-to-date information. It's also a good idea to start thinking about how this potential boost might affect your personal financial situation. If you're currently receiving benefits, consider how you might use the extra funds. Could you pay off debt, invest in home improvements, or perhaps set some aside for a rainy day? And if you're not yet receiving benefits, this might be a good time to revisit your retirement planning strategy. Remember, while this news is exciting, it's important to approach it with a balanced perspective. Yes, a fight of last job. Stay optimistic, but also stay realistic and prepare for the possibility of changes or adjustments as the plan moves forward. In the meantime, let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts, questions, and concerns in the comments below. Are you excited about this potential boost? Worried about any aspects of it? Your input is valuable, and it helps us all understand the real-world implications of these changes. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.